M M X X I are we going to learn ABCD today no in some format it is the current year that is nothing but 2021 can you tell me what is the time in the clock yes absolutely the time is 4 o'clock now let's go to an interesting puzzle can you write 5 in 4 just try for it can you yeah that is iv iv stands for 4 and v stands for 5 so i have written 5 in 4 so what we are talking about let's discuss in our video so hi friends this is dalisa your maths assistant and i am here to assist you in different concepts of maths so in this video we are going to take information about the roman numerals so without wasting much of the time let's get started with today's video as we know the people belonging from india are known as indian the people belong from japan are known as japanese and that of the people belongs from china are known as chinese in the same way the people belong from rome city are known as roman and they have their own languages and method of writing number that is known as the roman numeral in mathematics to write every number we use digits like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 <laughs> or devanagari numbers shunya 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 or roman numerals i v x l c d and m So let us see what these Roman numerals represent. Roman numeral I represents one. I means one. Then the next Roman numeral symbol is V. So Roman numeral V represents five. There are seven Roman numerals, and X represents the Mara English Roman numeral that is ten. In the same way. there is a roman numeral called l or roman symbol called l it represents 50 so if you want to write 50 you just have to write l in the same way there is one more uh, digit uh, roman numeral called c and the roman numeral c represents 100 that is nothing but the century then the next roman numeral is d or symbol is d which represents 500 and the last roman numeral is m which represents nothing but 1000 but how to write the numbers by just using the seven symbols so there must be some rule so let us go to the first rule rule number 1 when a digit of lower value is written to the right or after a digit of higher value then the values of the digits are added let's see with the help of some examples vi as we know V means five and I means one, so five plus one is equal to six. Let's see one more example. X V, as we know, X is equals to ten and V is equals to five, so ten plus five is equals to fifty. Third example, L X I L stands for fifty, X ten and I ones, so fifty plus ten plus I one is equal to sixty one. C L, hundred plus fifty is equal to one hundred fifty. Now. is there any other rule yes there is one more very important rule that is the roman numerals or digits like i x and c can be repeated up to 3 times it cannot be repeated more than 3 times then c i i i will be equals to 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equals to 3 then x x that is equals to 10 plus 10 20 then x x x then it is 3 times then 10 plus 10 plus 10 will be equals to 30 even though triple c that is c plus c plus c 100 plus 100 plus 100 will be equals to 300 <coughs> and c plus c that is equals to 100 plus 100 will be equals to 200 and mm means 1000 plus 1000 will be equals to 2000 so this is very much important rule now are there digits or are is every digit of roman symbol is repeated yes when the digit of roman Uh, lower value is written to the left side now we 
in the prior rule we have seen right hand side now left hand side if it is written then subtraction okay right hand side addition left hand side subtraction let us understand v means 5 and i is written to the left hand side so 5 minus 1 is equals to 4 now x is equals to 10 and i is written to the left hand side so is equals to 1 and 10 minus 1 is equals to 9 in the same way l is equals to 50 when x is written to the left hand side so 50 minus 10 is equals to 40 and x c c stands for 100 and x stands for 10 10 100 minus 10 is equals to 90 so keep in mind right side addition left side subtraction let us go to the next rule that is rule number four and the rule number four is regarding repetition of the digit that is no digit is repeated succession in more than three times three times se zyada koi bhi digit repeat nahi hogi okay so it means i i i i four times i does not means a four or uh, four times c that is c stands for 100 so four times c does not means a 400 or even though four times x that is x x x x does not means 40 so keep in mind the roman symbol is not represented more than three times then what about the repetition of the other symbol that is v then l or d what about the repetition of these symbols so see the digits or the symbol like v l and d are not repeated or the repetition of the digit or roman symbol that is v l and d is invalid in the formation of roman numeral so you, you cannot say v v is equals to 10 v v ten, for 10 there is a separate roman numeral that is x l l you cannot say as a 50 or 100 so 100 there is a c d d you cannot say 1000 there is a m and the last rule in case of writing roman numeral now what about you will say m stands for 1000 then what about the bigger number more than 5000 or 10000 how to write these numbers so see in if the horizontal line is drawn over the symbols of the roman numerals then the value of the roman numeral become thousand times listen it carefully the thousand value of the roman numeral become thousand type let's see an example we know xv is equals to 15 but xv bar is equals to 15000 so this is the one of the way of writing larger roman numeral as we know clv is equals to 155 but clv bar is equals to 155000 okay now give an answer of this question when did india get independence yeah it's right 15th of august 1947 but how to write in roman numeral 15 is equals to xv august 8 pii and 1947 mc cm xl vii now can you tell what is the time in the clock yes it's 12 o'clock and how to write in the roman numeral x i i yes absolutely correct very good so thanks for watching video if you like the video then hit the like button and please subscribe the channel thank you